Hello everybody and welcome to our latest special interview. Now in today's rapidly evolving industrial landscape, the integration of cybersecurity with automation and digitalization has become paramount, especially in the machine building sector. As companies strive to enhance their digital presence and improve um, operational efficiency, the threat of cyber attacks looms large often causing hesitation in adopting new technologies. However, with the right steps and expert guidance, these challenges can be effectively addressed. Lenza, a global leader in automation solutions, is at the forefront of this integration, offering comprehensive strategies and advisory services to ensure that machine builders can confidently embrace the digitalization whilst maintaining robust cybersecurity measures. Well, in this interview today, we speak with Mr. Jürgen Reichers, the head of global system engineering at Lenza, to delve into the critical aspects of this integration and understand how Lenza is helping its clients navigate this complex landscape. So, Jürgen, welcome and thank you for your time today. How will the Cyber Resilience Act change the way in which automation and robotics are used? First, um, thanks for inviting me um, to this uh, to this video. I'm happy to uh, to help our customers um, to tell a little bit more about uh, our cyber resilience app. Um, of course, in the last video, Dennis Kulner um, already told you what the Cyber Resilience Act is look like, the detailed information, and let's focus a little bit more about the automation and robotics. And um, yeah, your question: um, Will this affect the automation and robotics? Yeah, this will definitely have impact. And um, one of the things is uh, for us as, as Lenser, we need to develop our products on a secure way. That means all our products need to be proven to the Cyber Resilience Act. That's one. But of course, we have also our manu machine manufacturers. And also they need to do something. They need to make their machine complete Cyber Resilience Act proof which means that they need to use the right components. And of course, we can help them with this. Um, the other thing what they really need to do is that they also make some, uh, train some people. They need to make some um, Cyber Resilience Act experts inside of the company, because this is not something which is starting in 2027. This will go into 2028, 29, and in the next years. That means you need to have people who are really continue monitoring the situation. Of course, the Cyber Resilience Act will also help us um, because we will use more standards. You need to think about a standard like OPC UA that's helping the robotics and um, our automation industry, definitely. Um, that means, um, again, back to your question, will this be having impact? Yes, absolutely. This will impact us, but also our machine manufacturer. Yeah, uh, understood. That it, that explains the situation very well, and it certainly is important as we develop on from the interview with Dennis about this. Now, Jürgen, what is the consequence of not adopting the new normal once the Cyber Resilience Act is in place? Yeah, I always take um, take an, an easy example. Um, you will not, for your private life, you will not doing your bank account on a laptop which is not secure. You want to have a secure laptop to do your bank account things. And yeah. um, that's exactly the same with our end customers. Our end customers want to have a machine which has no security gaps. That's, um, that's of course, one um, very important thing. That means our end users expect uh, a machine without security gaps. And therefore, we as Lenser can help them with giving the right products. The other thing is um, you also do not want to have a reputation damage. When your machine is not um, Cyber Resilience Act proof, you will also lose business and maybe also some marketing share. And um, I think um, there is also a possibility in the future that you will get some financial penalties. That means um, when, you, when your machine is not CRA uh, fulfillment, the CRA requirements, then also you will have a problem and you will get some fines. That means, um, again, back to your question, it's mandatory inside of the EU, EU, EU reg regulations that your machine is, um, yeah, f fulfill the new normal. 
Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's interesting. I think it's quite important as well that we've, we're identifying that there's a need to be proactive. Uh, we don't have the option of being reactive um, in this. So it's important. It's clearly very important uh, to think this through. Yep. So, Jürgen, how will Lenza help their customers in adapting to the new requirements? i expecting this question already. Um, that means <laughs> for, thanks uh, for asking this. Um, of course, we're thinking um, about a lot of things, um, but let's summarize some most important topics. First of all, um, our web-based tools are running on a secure infrastructure. That means they are following um, a certificate standard, ISO 27001. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is we also offer our customers easy tools where you can do a backup and restore with. That means when you want when you want to update a product with a security patch or a new firmware, then it's easy with these two tools to do an upgrade or a downgrade um, to make your product Cyber Resilience Act for the future. Then um, all our data which we store is um, encrypted. That means, um, for example, our, C our PLC program is encrypted when you download this to the controller. And of course, when you save it, inside or on your PC. Um, then before you can have access to our apps or software, you need to authorize yourself. You need to log in. Also one of the topics um, with Cyber Resilience Act. Um, then we offer also a secure VPN access with our um, X500 gateway. That means you can, with a secure way, you can from outside access the machine. Therefore, we're using encrypted communication like OpenCUA, but also um, secure protocols like HTTPS, like um, SSH and SFTP. And um, last thing what I need to uh, mention is that our products will have a firewall in uh, the components. That means our controller, our server inverter, but also our gateway has an integrated firewall um, to take care of this. That means when you um, listen to this, I believe seven, eight points, then um, we really help our customers um, to secure their machine with the latest standards. Understood. So that's quite a lot of reassurance, isn't it? That, that you really are protecting and helping them to protect themselves Absolutely. Uh, in, in this. Um, I understood. Now, um, Jürgen, some companies may be apprehensive about making changes, um, concerned. How can Lenza help people in that situation? Yeah, of course. Um, I already told you the seven, eight points um, where we can help them. That means, first of all, we take care that we give them components which completely follow the Cyber Resilience Act rip, um, rules. That's one. Um, the other thing is um, we um, also offering workshops. That means when you want, you, when you're interested or you have some doubts, feel free to contact us. And then um, we can put, um, for example, Dennis on the table and discuss together with the customer what's necessary to make your machine Cyber Resilience Act proof. And I think that's one of the uh, best offers we can do as a company. Yeah, uh, that, that, I mean, that's that's got to make sense. That has to make sense to actually literally help someone in that stage to give them that that, that confidence. OK, there are going to be people that are watching this. Now, we know that we had a record number of people watching our last interview with Dennis Golner from Lenza um, about this. Now, now, if they're watching this today and this is another prompt for them, how where can viewers of this video today? Where can they find out more? Of course, um, the first thing what I want them to do is visit our website, www.lenza.com. Um, there you have a tab, cyber security, and there you can first find a lot of information already. There is also a possibility to download a white paper. The white paper is called cyber security, of course, um, and there you already find a lot of things inside of it. Yeah, um, and when they cannot find it on our website, um, we have all the sales company has a phone number. That means please feel free to contact your local Lens sales company and discuss the possibilities. Excellent. 
that's fantastic and that's really the critical thing isn't it it costs nothing to ask questions and to get guidance and that's what Lenza clearly is offering well Jürgen thank you so much for the explanation that you've given and the detail because now what we're doing is providing a link to for machine builders in the United Kingdom to actually come to terms with dealing with the Cyber Resilience Act uh, from that side. So we really appreciate the explanation and your time as well. Now, you're if you're watching this and you would like to find out more, as before, we're going to provide links to everything. There will be a link to the white paper that Jürgen has just mentioned, and there'll also be links to the website as well to find out more. It, clearly, the Cyber Resilience Act is something that we cannot ignore. We really do have to think thoroughly uh, through the whole process. Um, I'd really encourage you to, if you need to dig deeper, contact Lenza and find out what they can do for you. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks again, Jürgen, for your time. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you, guys.